Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sergey Andreev. I recently joined IHP, and uh, I'm responsible for the Open PDK part of the big, large Open PDK project here. Uh, in the following slides, I will give you an overview of the current status of the IHP SG 13G2 Open PDK project. Uh, going from the already available PDK data uh, to the open questions and finally to the future plans. But uh, the first thing that I want to show you is our proposal of the open PDK EDA flow uh, for analog and ref designs. Uh, here you can see the flow diagram of the already well known and established open source digital design uh, development flow, the open lane. Uh, it has a lot of support from the community. Uh, it is used in a lot of designs and uh, it uses a lot of open source tools inside. And uh, here is our view of what the analog open source flow should look like. It's just our proposal. Uh, it's uh, first step. Um, we are targeting K layout oriented flow, namely layout design, parameterizable cells. Implementation and physical verification will be done all uh, inside K-Layout and using K-Layout current functionality or with additional features that will be developed specifically to enable uh, IHP open source PDK flow. We will use Cooks as a schematic entry, uh, NGSpice for the simulation and Open EMS for the electromagnetic simulation as well. Uh, we don't know yet about the parasitic extraction, but we think that it should be possible with K layout. Uh, now to the actual data that we already have. Uh, we have created a separate public GitHub repository for the open PDK project. Uh, the PDK contents, uh, you can see on the right side, uh, we have the project Gantt map, Gantt chart. Uh, we have base cell set with standard logic cells. Uh, I will come later in, in one slide in more details. We have GDS view of primitive devices. We have several uh, tech files for k layout. Uh, we have models uh, for GBT devices, unfortunately not for MOS. We have uh, documentation scripts and tutorials for open EMS, documentation and uh, for the process spec and DRM, and measurements uh, for the MOS HBT devices. Uh, ah. We also enabled uh, additional settings to comply with the GitHub community standards. We uh, decided to use contributors sign off with developer certificate of origin. Uh, we enabled code of conduct, project tasks view. Uh, currently only IHP. Uh, is uploading data to the GitHub repository, but now that we agreed on the contributor's way of working, I still need to uh, write contribution guidelines, though. We expect that the updates from the community will be made by pull requests, and it's what GitHub users are already used to. Uh, uh, from these charts and statistics, you can see that the HP Open PDK repository is getting a lot of attention already from the community, in spite of it being at a very, very early stage 
of development and uh, it still is not meant for production use. It's for uh, looking at the documentation for uh, development of the tools basic, based on the data that we have there. Now I'm sh show you the visual Linux host machine that Rene told a bit about. Uh, we are having VMware uh, with Linux, Ubuntu with more or less standard uh, technical characteristics, uh, some servers, and uh, uh, we are uh, adding users by request, but uh, only internal users. We have a lot of tools and PDK installed there to uh, try to understand uh, how the tools behave, what are the issues, uh, making some tutorials with these tools. Uh, we do not have official IT support for this machine. And currently, me and my colleague Anton Datsuk have admin rights. We can install, remove, update any tools there, as well as help users to uh, set up their environment settings. Uh, this virtual Linux host machine will be the reference of the upcoming uh, cloud system that we are planning to use. And, uh, this cloud system will be developed during this project runtime. Okay, the, I will show you the available uh, PDK data itself. This is a base cell set with digital standard cells. We have 78 cells with the uh, good amount of functions uh, from combinational to sequential auxiliary cells. Uh, for these cells, we have different EDA views. Uh, some, of the, some of them, you can see what, what it looks like. Uh, and we're also delivering open access library, but it's not part of the open PDK delivery. We are uh, delivering this on a with the NDE. Uh, for the electromagnetic solvers review, we made a lot of work to uh, choose the right one for our technology, for our use cases, and uh, open EMS. We think that it will be the best choice for us uh, there are some not relevant, not very big issues, but the most important one is that it has mostly manual mesh definition. Uh, the ripple, uh, the low frequency is not that big issue, but still uh, we need to understand uh, who can uh, support this tool because it's open source and everyone can contribute. In the GitHub repository, you have a lot of uh, tutorials and documentation available for this tool. So please take a look and uh, give your feedback. Um, then next, uh, we made a custom library for the HBT devices for the Cook's uh, schematic editor. Uh, here you can see what it looks like uh, in the GUI. Uh, we have the tab with libraries. Uh, the symbol is uh, written on the right side. It's uh, just an ASCII file. With this, specific, with this specific format. And uh, the directory structure where the user should put the files needed uh, to enable uh, 
the HBT device in the uh, in this tool. Uh, we are working to enable uh, passive device spice models uh, for our PDK. Now the work is going on for resistor models. Already temperature and noise modeling is available. Uh, but uh, nonlinear effects are not included and we are working to uh, adapt uh, nonlinear three terminal resistor models. Okay, next coming the open questions, which are basically uh, possible options to increase tool support coverage and enhance our open PDK. Uh, just a reminder of the flow proposal diagram. As I mentioned before, we are targeting K layout, and now the question is should we, and at the same time, who can? support us in the inclusion of MAGIC and its uh, tools framework. Uh, Skywater PDK, open lane flow, and a large number of designers and designs are supporting uh, MAGIC as a reference tool of choice for semi-automated uh, open source design flow. And uh, so it's a question for us, for you, <clears throat> if uh, we need to have it as well in our uh, list of supported tools. Uh, for the circuit design, uh, we are targeting cooks, but uh, should we support not only cooks as a schematic editor, circuit design tool, but also uh, XCAM, which is a well-known schematic capture and uh, net leasing ADA tool, fast with unlimited hierarchy and good scripting capabilities, uh, not to mention the fact that XCAM is one of the two uh, circuit design tools currently supported by Skywater PDK. Uh, or maybe <clears throat> Revolution ED, which is not well known, but uh, it's Python based with the look and feel of Canon's Virtuoso Schematic Editor and has a lot of potential. Uh, presentation of this tool will be uh, by its developer, it's planned for tomorrow. Uh, from the simulation perspective, we're also asking if someone needs and can support us uh, to look into size. It's a SPICE compatible high performance analog circuit simulator. Uh, size was designed from scratch to be parallel simulation code uh, written in C++ and it's supporting large scale parallel. So basically for, for its speed, uh, we we said that it will be better to support it as well. Um, now to the next steps and what we already are in progress of. Uh, we have additional cells in development by ETH Zurich and uh, open source community during the hackathons. Uh, uh, we are planning to generate left view for primitive devices and put on the GitHub. Uh, add some additional things to Kali out technology file, which is more or less empty right now. Uh, but we need help to convert our most spectrum models to SPICE format uh, to use with the open source simulators. Uh, the there is some supported functionality and uh, there are some uh, comments, instruction and statements from Spectre that are not supported uh, because Spectre models for the most device are very advanced and uh, or we need to drop off some functionality or we need to enhance the simulators. Uh, we can talk 
this later. Uh, also, we need to understand how to uh, convert our synopsis pi cells that we have for our primitive devices uh, to use with K layout. Currently, we use PyCell API and Synopsis Py Studio. Uh, it's just a copy of our uh, Cadence Skill P cells. Uh, and we have to uh, understand or ask for help uh, of someone who can uh, generate the same uh, layout generators, yeah, the, the parametric cells using K-Layout API. Uh, my brains, I know uh, they made uh, P-cells for K-Layout for the Skywater PDK. Maybe uh, we can uh, have them as well for, for this task. The first phase goal of the Open PDK project is to have the digital design <clears throat> submitted uh, with core expert group in December of this year. Uh, we already have standard cells, open LAN in GDS is available uh, as a flow, and we are working on the open PDK. And the IO cells is in progress, is in development, and also DRC deck. Uh, we should have by this time. LVS is an optional thing that is not really required. Uh, and this is our first phase goal. And basically that's all. I would like to thank my colleagues at IHP ATH Zurich and open source community. Uh, separate thanks to Volker Mulhaus to work on the EM solvers. And final thanks to different public founded German projects uh, via EH, EH, HEP, HP Open 130 G2, FMD C, and the workshop funding FMD C with VDI VDE. Thank you for attention.